Welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at what is going on for you currently along your journey and um, see if we can get some assistance for you um, to help you along the way. Okay, so welcome. I'm Juanita and um, today we're going to be using the Cosmic Reading Cards and the Osho Zen tarot for clarification and further information so i've already pulled the um, cosmic reading cards okay just to save us some time and let's start with the first one. First one here sagittarius is let go hopefully that's not too glary for you so let go right it's easier said than done you know you hear it all the time just let go let it go no problem and just let it go just like that if it was that easy we wouldn't need to do, be you know we wouldn't he be hearing it all the time right it's not that easy it's it really is a mental and a physical and a spiritual emotional journey yeah um and and it's tough and you know really Sagittarius it's about letting go of control okay it's a it, because this control is taking its toll on you. Okay. Um, I want to say that have faith in the universe, okay, because it's like, it's this matter of surrendering really and knowing that things will be taken care of. At the moment, you're holding on so tightly to have control over that, how the situation plays out, whatever that situation is for you. Okay, whether that's to do with love or career or family, um, anything. It could be a home you're living in, um, a business that you're running. Sometimes it's a matter of letting go and surrendering and allowing things to play out as they need to play out. Okay, um... Part of this, I feel like we've got rebirth here. Very interesting. Um, there's, and I was just about to say, it's as though there's part of yourself. <sighs> or it's not even part of yourself, Sagittarius. It's actually you're afraid of the unknown is what really is the issue here. Okay, and you're afraid that something is going to end. Um, and this control is rearing its ugly head for you, okay, and it's, oh, um, it's actually stopping you from growing in quite a intense way, because we have not only rebirth, but also transformation. By letting go, you will allow yourself to actually go through this rebirthing process which I also want to say is not necessarily always pretty and it's not necessarily easy okay um and I just have a little bit of a giggle thinking of the, all the rebirths I've had in my life um yeah you know and the transformation the thing is, Sagittarius, you have the ability to go through this change in your life, but you don't feel like you do, and you're clinging on for dear life because you want things to remain the way they are. But the fact of the matter is that you're not actually able to grow in this situation, so you need to let go of the control and trying to keep things as you want them to be so that you can grow, okay? And really, this holding on to this control is actually stopping you from walking your truth okay um because you're afraid that people might put you down or ridicule you okay and you know you're afraid that you'll be mocked yeah you're afraid of what people will think and and often people will do that to you Sagittarius because of their own fears, okay, that comes from their own fears, but if you stand in your power, you will show them how it's done, 
and potentially inspire them to do the same for themselves. Okay, because holding on tightly stifles the growth, just not of yourself, but of everyone around you. And holding on to that at the moment is done in fear yourself. I feel like, Sagittarius, you're actually afraid more of what you'll lose than, uh, than being afraid of the unknown, potentially. And because it feels like what you lose, or could lose, sends you into this... Uh, it's like you're scared of falling into the depths of despair and being in the dark on your own. Um, but what will ultimately happen is it will allow you to walk your truth, okay? Trust. Trust that you, this is the right thing for you, okay? And again, I know that's easier said than done, okay? But trust that there will be people there to catch you when you, if you fall, okay? You need to take the leap of faith and trust that there will be people there to join you along your way and hold your hand throughout the process and support you. Because by doing this, I feel like this is going to bring more people together than what it will separate them. Okay, um, there is a new chapter ready and waiting for you. Okay, and it will bring in a new chapter 100%. Yeah, rebirth, transformation, like this is, wow. Um, new chapter, this is, this is going to happen whether you try to control it or not. So it's almost as though you need to, um, go with the flow with this process rather than fighting it because fighting it is actually going to make it a whole lot harder than what it would be if you just allowed it to happen. Okay. Um, you know, you are changing. Things are changing for you, but you are actually changing on the inside, okay? Um, I, I, this is, is this where the fear is coming from, Sagittarius? Are you afraid because of these changes that you're making on the inside are going to cause this external chaos, in a sense? Um, there's just so many fears surrounding this, but... The fact of the matter is, is that your soul needs this, okay? It longs for this new path, and I'm pretty sure that you can feel that, yeah? And, you know, you've been asking for change. You've actually asked for something to be different and things to change. And then, you know, I get that. You want things to change. You kind of have this vision of what the end result of that change will look like. But don't really consider um, and see that the actually the beginning of that process can be really messy and uncomfortable and potentially ugly. And, um, you know, it just really, really is a matter of letting go and going with the flow. Okay, um, because this card kind of almost reminds me a bit of a waterfall where the water's hitting the bottom of the, um, you know, at the bottom of the waterfall and it's all, um, it's chaotic there, but then it forms into this peaceful body of water, yeah, and it goes downstream and the flow is created and that's kind of what needs to happen for you, Sagittarius, okay, moment to moment, take it step by step, okay, and and I feel like this, at the moment, things feel very unstable, yeah, and it feels as though, because I notice this guy here has, I don't know if you can see that or not, but he has his eyes closed, and like, he's just kind of got faith that the next time he puts his foot down, he's actually going to land on a rock, and he's going to have solid footing. And it is there right in front of him. He's just trusting the process. And this is what you need to do, Sagittarius. Trust the process. And I am I know how scary it is. I totally do. Sometimes, Sagittarius, it's petrifying. 
right I completely get that I thought there was one flipped up I saw but no um it is it can be petrifying and things are definitely changing but for the better um and I want to say too you know because it's like you're trying to get everything in balance um because and and what you're doing is focusing so much on trying to balance things that you're not actually seeing the big picture or turning around and seeing that there's other things that you can focus on in a sense because you're just looking at this um it's kind of like a bit like narrow-mindedness in a sense and I don't mean that cruelly but that's the only thing that really comes to mind so expand your mind I guess right try to see the bigger picture and try to focus on something else other than just what is in front of you sorrow you really 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 finding this hard and potentially losing sleep over it because of the fear um because it's not easy anything that's oh that wasn't meant to shuffle that but that this has come up and I wouldn't talk about this but I'll put it back this is what is keeping you up at night this fear because what's happening is all these other birds are flying here they've all come from the same cage right and it's almost as though you are this bird here and you are the only one not flying and you're so afraid that if you jump out of that cage you're not going to be able to fly because you don't actually realize you have the ability okay um and it's just a matter of stepping out okay it's just a matter of taking the next step you do have the ability you are more than capable okay um integrity this is about breaking patterns okay getting rid of those old um thought patterns habits that don't serve you anymore these things are holding you back and this could be very well also pertaining to the control yeah um and you know this is about empowering you to stand in your truth right to walk your truth like we've already talked about Sagittarius okay look mistakes happen right everyone makes mistakes okay so, so let's say you step out and you make a mistake and something goes wrong then you learn from it yeah what if you step go on a new venture and it doesn't work out you learn from it and you try something new you never know until you try okay so this is really important for you to start venturing out and stepping out of your comfort zone okay um you know and in that process it's because here's the thing Sagittarius this is what I feel like happens and this is what I feel like has happened in the past okay there's been a situation or a time where you've started something new and it didn't work out and you got burned and you may very well have got burned badly and what happened at that point was that you decided to bury all that stuff maybe you didn't handle it very well and so you shoved that under the carpet pretended like that didn't happen and decided at that point you would never ever let that happen again and you would have control over everything that went on so that it couldn't happen again yeah and that has stuck with you to the point now where the impact of that is now holding you back because see this darkness here that was shoved into the darkness let's not look at that let's pretend that never happened we won't speak about it we won't address it but it's there and so I feel like this is coming up now for you to address number one and number two 
for you to learn to be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself and be loving to yourself through this change. Because like I say, this change is going to happen whether you want it to or not. And if you don't go with the flow, it's going to be harder. I think I've already said that. I've just repeated myself, but that's because it needed to be repeated, Sagittarius. Okay, because I know that you like to make sure that everything goes the way that you plan. Um, I, I want to say out of it's it's deeper than it being in your control. It's actually done out of fear because you're afraid. So having that control makes you feel less afraid because you feel like you have a handle on the matter. But it's not actually helping you grow. So then if something comes along and happens unexpectedly, it will be harder for you to deal with because what happens is as we go along on this journey, right, we take different steps, okay, moment to moment, step by step. Each step that is taken has a lesson and there is something to learn. So we go through this journey learning different things along the entire path. It's not just about the destination, it's more about the journey. We've all heard that, right? And so the journey is so crucial because of the growing and the learning that we do along that journey, okay? And so this is why it's so important for you to take this journey, Sagittarius. So that if things do turn to custard, you are actually able to deal with that a lot better because you have the tools, okay? You have the tools through this transformation to be able to do that because you've collected them along the way, okay? Great. Possibilities. This is about really um, going, you know, getting a bird's eye view of the potential of what could happen for you. What are your options? What are the possibilities? Instead of seeing things as, oh gosh, can't let this happen. You know, like what What if this did happen? What are the possibilities here? And, and what could I actually have work out here? Um, what are my, what is the best course of action for me here? Okay, guilt. This is self-imposed here, Sagittarius, okay? This is your, your mind controlling you and not allowing you to move forward. And I don't want to be patronising and, and, you know, um, well, not patronising is not the right word, but I don't want to sound really mean to say it's all in your head because that's minimising is the word. You know, these fears are real and they're there for a reason, you know. Um, but I want you to know that if you step forward and face those fears and move forward anyhow, you're going to benefit a lot more than kind of being pushed forward unwillingly, okay. Be still, okay. So this is a good way to deal with these challenges, all right, and these internal storms that are going on within you, Sagittarius, okay, um, breathing, simply breathing, because it does feel like there's this holding of breath, and I have felt like I've done this through the whole reading, to be honest with you, really taking a deep breath, though, in through your nose and out through your mouth, deep, deep breath, okay, and, um, <sighs> Yeah, it, it, sorry, I'm trying to say everything at once here. This this is about learning to deal with triggers because we all come up against triggers. Now, the thing is that triggers are unavoidable, okay, because unless there's something inside of us to be triggered, then we wouldn't be triggered. That totally came out the wrong way. But you, I, I think I've made it clear. Um, and so, you know, this is really looking at how do you react to those triggers, okay? 
Are you having this tanty or are you calmly guiding your way through these triggers? Okay, and looking at the best way to do this. Yeah. Um, and, and how you react shows the work that you have already done. Okay. Um, and if there's part of yourself that has is being triggered, okay, and this is how you're feeling, then be gentle with that part of yourself. Don't beat it up. Be nice to it. Love it. Care for it. Nurture it. Okay, because that part of yourself needs it the most rather than being put down and scolded. Okay, so yeah, what's this about being still? Give me more about that for Sagittarius. Is there anything else that would help with this internal chaos going on for Sagittarius, please? Well, aloneness. Yeah, going within, really going within and allowing your inner light to shine to help guide the way, tapping in to your awareness, okay? Because that's going to, you know, like at the moment, it feels like this chaos within you and just letting your internal guidance speak, okay? And that's what you get from being still, maturity, allowing things to grow, Allowing, really planting the seed, thinking about, okay, what, what kind of garden do I want to grow here? What seeds do I want to plant? How do I want this to look? Okay, do you want it to look like weeds or do you want it to look like flowers? All right, because this is what is happening here with this new journey. Okay, shine. The fact of the matter is that this here is the next step of this journey. Okay. You know, this is about utilizing your pa your passion and building upon it. Okay, you will by by following your heart, Sagittarius. You naturally will shine your light. Okay, and I feel like you are feeling the pull to do this, which is probably why this new chapter, this part of your soul, has been calling for this. Yeah, and what happens is when you do that. You do stand in your truth and you stand in your power and you shine the light for others to walk and follow in your footsteps, you know, in their own authentic way. This is what you do for other people by doing that. So this is why it's really important to make these changes for yourself so that you can shine your light authentically, Thunderbolt. Yeah. And it could very well be that something pretty um, drastic has happened or there has been something that has happened and it's brought you to your knees and it's created this change. Um, it could be that you're afraid that if you shine your light, that that is what will happen. It will cause the thunderbolt moment and maybe it will, right? Go into this consciousness. Be aware that this new beginning is the beginning of your truth. And sometimes things fall apart because the solid, the ground wasn't solid enough to begin with. <clears throat> okay, so it's up to you to now build a new solid foundation. Okay, gratitude. So... This is about rising your rising, raising your vibration, all right, um, and and to really have gratitude as to how far you actually have come, okay, because there has been some progress along your journey already, all right, and even if there were times, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is going so croaky right now, even if there were times that you actually didn't you know things didn't work out see the progress that you've made since then and and have gratitude for that yeah um and also the thing with gratitude is you know you, you can look out outside and see this amazing universe what it provides for us and have gratitude for those things because what happens Sagittarius is when we're grateful it knocks down the walls 
these walls we put up to protect ourselves that stop us from letting go, right, that breaks them down and it dissolves them. And gratitude is crucial for you to be able to raise your vibration, which is what really needs to happen in order for you to shine your light. You can't shine your light from a lower density, okay? That needs to come up for you to do that. Yeah. Anything else for gratitude for Sagittarius? This is a really interesting, and I'm not sure exactly where you are on this journey, but um, some of you could just be beginning it, or, you know, you could have already been, you know, through, you know, started this journey, this change, but we have success, okay? Celebrate the successes along the way. Every time you take a step and you learn something, celebrate that. But no, no, Sagittarius, that there's still work to be done. Break the chains. Break these habitual patterns. Break the things that are keeping, break these chains. Oh, yeah. Break the chains to make change. Yeah. Um, so that you can fly um, and bring this wisdom through. Okay. Um, bring your inner power through. Right. Because see here, this flower was once a seed in between these rocks here. And it has had the courage to come up and shine its light. Shine into the light and bloom. And this is what? This is the result for you, yeah? Be fearless. Okay? This is really letting go of the fear of failure. The fear of mistakes, the fear of judgments, the fear of change, the fear of success. Because what if you succeed and you can't uphold it? That's real. Okay? It's further to fall when you succeed, right? And part, some of you aren't trying because you're so afraid it's going to fail. So you don't bother. Yeah? So be fearless, Sagittarius. Okay? Because this fear holds you back. And what's happening is you're going through life and you're, you're kind of like have these fears right and you're looking around and you're seeing that, okay, someone, for example, someone, you want to start a business and then someone else started a business and it didn't work out. So you're like, oh yeah, see, there you go. That's why I won't start a business. Right? So you're actually, in your life, you're attracting these scenarios to prove to yourself that this is why you should let that fear rule you well it's ruling you in a detrimental way it's not helping you okay it really is inhibiting you let go let go let go of the fears <laughs> i think that's pretty simple let go and let that light be a ripple effect for the rest of the world because it will be because this message is definitely here that um, your change and you stepping out will create a ripple effect for the positive okay new vision break out of these old ways of being and expand this new vision okay and we have mother earth here um and this really sagittarius is about humanity needing you okay you need to live truthfully in order to lead right and also to assist people to find their truth okay <sighs> You have to shine your light and walk your truth. This is not just about you. It's about everyone else who sees you. I just can't, I don't even know how to word that any other way. But I can also feel it so strongly inside of me that I wish I could just relay that through the camera so that you could have the feeling too, like this calling is here for a reason, and, 
and I feel like you can feel it burning inside of you, but you are so afraid of what people around you will think and what they'll say and that they'll rubbish you and put you down and laugh at you and hope for your failure. And that is holding you back. We have the lovers. This is really interesting because I feel like this is about, this is you loving you in a sense. I mean, it could be, you know, about a relationship. But I feel like this is about you loving this part of you that is so afraid. Looking at it and loving it anyway. Seeing that you are part of Mother Earth and loving you so that you complement Mother Earth. Compromises. Stop being stubborn. <laughs> Interesting though that we have two which I always see as twins here. You could have Gemini in your chart so if you do go and listen to Gemini. But... This is about facing your fears. This is about facing these things that hold you back. Facing your habits, facing your patterns, facing yourself. Being completely and utterly honest with yourself and not sweeping things under the carpet and pretending they don't exist. Okay, seeing these aspects of yourself that um, where you're stubborn and won't make compromises. Okay, um, actually letting go of... That clinging, I suppose, in a sense. Letting go of that control, obviously, like we have talked about so much here. Yeah, that's really interesting to finish it off with these two. Um, because by doing that, you will, you will learn how that's done and you'll actually be able to teach and show people how to do that for themselves. So once you release the shackles that you hold upon yourself, you'll be able to do the same for others. Yeah. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope that helps you. Please share this video and subscribe and like so that it can help other people as well because that's the whole idea of this channel. Okay, Sagittarius, take care of your lovely selves. See you. Bye-bye.